Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Nerdwatch Podcast. I, of course, am a G Money. Welcome, Makaku. Woo-hoo. Welcome, YouTube. Welcome, Facebook Live. Welcome, Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it is episode 101 of the Nerdwatch Podcast, and uh, there are changes a brewing here at the Nerdwatch Podcast. Uh, I hope for the better. Uh, we're going to be, uh, as of episode 100, uh, we are uh, officially doing something different with the Nerd Watch podcast, and I hope uh, it's going to be Somebody's podcast. Somebody's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> but what you're, gonna, it's going to be me. Yeah. What Spoilers. Just look at this, oh, man. Don't ruin because it. this is all changing as of next week. Uh, this but group is changing. But we're not going to tell you what it is. But we're not going to tell you. Figure it out you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. It's, it's gonna a be mis- like one of those comparison pictures. You're like, right. what's different about That's this? That's right. It's, it's, a, it's really just going to be one of the comics. It's a Scooby Doo mystery. It's just going to be a whole new cast. Why don't you just say it? Well, it's going to be a different. It will be. There it's will be. You know, there I will be cast this changes. Here, but yeah, we're moving you guys out of the shop so that we can move in another podcast. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, a little better looking than us. Man, I knew I never liked you this didn't comic even store. Be a little better. Than us. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's. Well, no idea. Yeah, what? I have no idea. Well, let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> uh, let me introduce. Uh, the boys this evening here, the nerds on the Nerdwatch there's, podcast. There's at this table, of man. course, uh, to oh, my gosh. right, uh, my my compatriot, my the man who uh, ever tickles my funny bone. He is also uh, <laughs> like, please let this be. <laughs> 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 he uh, he's also uh, a comic book extraordinaire. Well, not Gannon, and uh, no. he is uh, he is a comic book artist and writer. He is the author of Kui Project, and he's the author of uh, Disco Thunder Groovebone. And also the man uh, who has been with us since October of last year and has done a bang up job, and we've and, still uh, never interviewed, and we've never interviewed uh, him. Yeah, yeah. And uh, his role is changing here at the show, and uh, it's uh, it's for the better. And uh, it's, it's the one and only, <clears throat> it's the one and only TB, huh. not tuberculosis, but Todd Bernardi. Todd, welcome to the show, sir. Is that his new nickname? That was the most forced, not tuberculosis. That was the most forced joke I've ever it was. heard. It was horrible. Uh, thanks for having me. Todd, I have, I have a question. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. How come you never tickled any of our funny balls? <laughs> and what do I got to do? I do feel a little left that? out. I, I thought, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that I was funny enough for everybody, but... <laughs> I I, 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 we're talking about different things. I'm sorry, Todd. Oh, you're, you're, Todd, you're funny enough for me, sir. Oh, uh, also joining us this evening why is. Why don't you uh, give any of us tuberculosis? <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that's good. Uh, you, you, if you're around me and I have it, you have it. You have it. That's, that's for sure. I got my shot. Uh, also know. joining us this evening is uh, punk rock superstar, the 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 man who is the horror aficionado, but strangely enough, does not want to see the premiere of Rob Zombie's latest film, Thirty One. Yeah, I'm going. It's Gannon. He's in the house as well <laughs> that's tonight. The one where Rob Zombie opens the ice cream shop, right? Uh, something like that. Nice. Bunch of clowns and things uh, like sure that. I can't wait. For that. I'm sure a Sherry be, Moon will be in it. That would be a great mashup. What's that? Rob Zombie's 31 meets 31 flavors. Yeah, right? <laughs> it takes, it's a horror story that takes place in an ice cream shop. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Oh. <laughs> also, also joining us this evening is uh, uh, the man who is our gaming guru and Pokemon master. Monster. Uh, master. Uh, it is, uh, it is, is, maestro. is it maestro? Pokemon maestro. Uh, format is in the house wizard. tonight as well. And then, <laughs> no. uh, uh, last but not least. Yeah, nobody wants, not at all. Nobody Hero. wants to be a grand wizard anymore. That's right. <laughs> Especially not a Pokemon. That's I don't right. know. David Duke's got aspirations. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Last but not least is the man who owns the comic book store, which we currently, a uh, comic book store, which we currently film in every single week. It is the man who is officially beardless. He has lost the pretentious beard still challenge. There. It's still there. Uh, the shadow of it. The shadow You're right. Of it's not really Actually, a beard. I mean, I don't know because it's so. It's yeah. beard fuzz. It's it's kind of more pretentious that way, right? Yeah, it's, like I, it's it's like. I'm pretending. Do you know to have what though? Beard. I think like Todd's right. There is, is like a lot of pretense. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of pretense <laughs> in the shadow. Yeah, yeah. There, like, you know there's a beard behind. There's it something yeah. about you have this uh, hipster douche look today. <laughs> It's also the man bun. It is. Yeah. It you, is. You can't really that's beat kind that. of a that's kind of a double negative, isn't it? Hipster it's douche. Not hipster hipster and douche. It's when you that's put true. the man bun <laughs> it's up a here. Negative. I'm gonna start wearing it to the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like turn, you know. Right. Nice. I'll gotcha. I hope no hats. hipsters watch our. <laughs> I, I hope not. I think either. you should wear some up, some down, like like the eighties. <laughs> 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 
I'm going to do Dave Grohl and just do pigtails. That would be great. That would uh, be like him if I haven't lot. introduced him, it's Alika. He is the man who owns here uh, the shop here, My Comics and Collectibles at 333 Gary oh, oh, oh. Road in Kahului. Um, okay. Before we get started and talk about uh, celebrating the Nerdwatch's 100th episode, or yeah. now 101, um, Alika, yep. why don't you uh, give us uh, some information on number one, because there's two different things I want to know about. Number one, I want to know more about uh, New Comic Book Wednesday. Because he really doesn't know. And number two, yeah. I want to know more information about Maui's first annual Maui Comic Con. Because he really doesn't know. Well, <laughs> again, actually, Stan Lee's going to be there. <laughs> Don't God, <laughs> talk the? about this. What? <laughs> Oh. Just, I'm just kidding, guys. Is just that, kidding. That was just, it's no. just a guy that named just, Stan Lee. Yes, yeah, be just, Stan, Stan Lee. Lee, one word. Right. Yeah, 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 Stan Lee. Lee. Stan Lee, Emsley, one of our listeners. <laughs> you're you're there. now under a lot of pressure That's to good. be there, Stan Lee, That's so good. I hope you're there. That's good. That's good. Uh, so uh, so other, than, other than Stan Lee <laughs> well being at the Comic-Con, what else is happening at the Comic-Con? <laughs> we, are, we do have some commitments from some bigger guests. Um, I want to... I want to hash out the plans a little deeper before we get into it, but we do have a couple more. I know Todd has made contact with some independent creators. Fantastic. Um, some bigger names. Um, but Molly Comic Con, it's happening when? November 5th and November 6th? November 5th and 6th, Saturday and Sunday. Sheesh. Free to the public. Robert Kirkman will be there. At Lahaina Kirkman Kirkman there. Yeah. Don't say that. Maybe. You can't say that. No, Robert Kirkman <laughs> won't even maybe be there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's the thing about this con is we're trying to focus on um, local people, both uh, independent mm-hmm. creators, local creators, yes. and also just... Um, People who are from the islands who have made it big, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Who's um... you mean guys like Mark Gould? You mean uh, <laughs> Kelly guys who like will be there. Todd no, I, Bernardi? I, Kelly who? Did wow. you get a did you get a uh, message uh, from Mark? Uh, he, I think so. I mean, he's okay. going to be. We, I I invited. I've got to contact him directly. Uh, what about Stacy Hayashi? I know she's a, she's a maybe. All right, okay. fantastic. Um, so Mia we, Peoples will be there. Wow. Whoa, hey. You know, Will you stop it? <laughs> You're going to get him in trouble, dude. Like she's not, got something else better to do she's that She's not weekend. in the Hawaiian comic book alliance. <laughs> That's right. Um, right. She is local, who made it big. <laughs> oh, did you happen to talk to uh, the a very talented Theodore Lee, Mr. Theo Lee? Is he coming? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Theo guys are going to be there. Fantastic. I, I already spoke with them. And... Local, co- uh, local, uh, local comic book artist? Yes. Yes. Very yes, yes. popular with commissions. Um, mm-hmm. Sam Campos and Chris uh, Carvalho. Oh, Chris Carvalho's the, coming. Yeah, they, okay. The foundation. Come. And yeah, one nice. of our favorites here at the Nerd Watch. And hopefully Brian Revel, guys, too. I'm sorry. And DJ. Uh, DJ Calvicani will not be there. What? Not yeah, that's there. why I was pretty mad. I thought he was coming. But DJ is hooking us up with a very special guest, so we'll take this other guy instead of oh, DJ okay. today. <laughs> he heard so, G was going to be there, and he was uh, like, no. DJ, yeah. no. DJ's going to no. be um, here after... Amazing Hawaii Comic Con special edition mm-hmm. on Oahu. He's going to be coming to Maui. Okay, and so that's just to hang out, and we're going to do a um, our, uh, signing. Well, I don't know if they want him now because he's not coming to my Comic Con. <laughs> hey, look, don't be petty, <laughs> G. Come on, hey, we love DJ. He's yeah, we a good do. Guy. That's right. That's right. He's like our only but, listener. Honestly, I will. I will give you a teaser. We, he has set us up with a very big local name. Fantastic! From Hawaii, I'm so stoked. And, we're all but confirmed. I just, you know, want to hash out some more details before I um, release who it is. But yeah. we basically got them coming. And so. if you have not taken a look at uh, DJ's comic, you can find it here at my comics and collectibles. Exilian. Exilian. Amazing comic. He had comic. Island Tales. That sold out, unsurprisingly. Yeah. At least that's what Team Money's comic. told because he hasn't read it. <laughs> Let, first of all, stop giving away my secrets. Okay? It's called promoting. Okay, it's so what I'm doing. Yeah, what it is is you don't sample the product and you vouch for its worthiness. Correct, sir. On public broadcast. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's how it works. That's right? how it works. Um, so, uh, Molly... I never heard you talk once about how amazing Scumbag Tulip is. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> like, Not you never, once. And you never will. <laughs> never <laughs> once has he ever been like, this amazing fanzine from it's Maui like, called Scumbag Tulip. You know, but it's funny that you mentioned that because uh, your fanzine is actually going to be... Prim- uh, is going to be... Uh, has a focus at Maui Comic Con, does it not, sir? Now it is. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> now, you have, now you have to. Now you have to. No, well... Well, I'm, I'm opening. I'm hoping to, it'll be out in October, so it'll be there in time for uh, awesome. November Comic Con. Wonderful. Yeah, so, Mau- by then. so Maui's first annual Maui Comic Con is happening at the Lahaina County first Mall. Ever. First ever, and mm-hmm. I, first, by the way, I. Uh, 
I would like to say it's not it's not something that I've always wanted to do that I never would have had the opportunity to do because I'm uh, because I'm lazy and because I have big aspirations and no follow through. So I would like to say (laughs) thank you to Alika uh, for I'm glad you're running this show. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. If you're also going to be thanking people for this, also thank and primarily thank Ken Gardner. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, Ken. Kind of got the wheels in motion, lit the fire under my butt to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. So thanks you guys for thank thank you guys for bringing it to the islands. Dude, and- Rob Liefeld will be there. What the? F- no, he won't. <laughs> <Get in. laughs> okay. You know what would be cool? Though? I think what you're gonna have to do uh, is. I think you're going to have to put – that's right. You're going to have to put on the flyer, card subject to change. Chris Pratt will be there. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> he, he's kind of from Maui. Star Lord. He was homeless on Maui. That's yes, right. He was. Yes. He, he owes us. If he you're watching us. Chris Pratt, you better show up. That's right. Uh, well, most, uh, There's going to be about who? Um, 11 um, – Guests from the Hawaii Comic Book Alliance. Fantastic. All local creators. All awesome. Oh, my Todd God. Bernardi will be there. Well, that's, I almost that's thought no he said there's going to be a living guest. Uh, <laughs> that is a reason to show uh, up. But then uh, there's also going to be another um, comic book artist from Maui uh, named Shane um, O'Shaughnessy. Who does? Yeah. He's going to be there. Shane oh, um, O'Shaughnessy will be there. Wow. That's right. Shane O'Shag Hennessy. I, yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. His, his book's called Spuds Malone. Hmm. Um, and you can pick it up here at Maui Comics and Collectibles. Fantastic. You sure can. Thank you, Todd. So informative. Um, so, like uh, first annual Maui Comic, <laughs> Maui Comic Con happening November 5th and 6th at the Lahaina Cannery Mall. Stay tuned to the contest. Nonwords Cosplay Contest. Cosplay. Uh, Night Darling's going to be there. We interviewed her last week. Yeah, she likes to be dressed with Kingpin. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. You guys are not going to want to miss out on it. Artist Alley and VIP Line. It's going to be amazing. So, stay tuned. We're going to talk more about that on the show as it approaches. Dude, Bob Kane is no be there. look. He's dead. <laughs> Gannon, I'm here. Right now. He's, co- he's coming with Jack Kirby. You're upsetting. And it's going to be amazing. <laughs> His estate is writing angry letters to us. <laughs> Finally, we got fan mail. You know what? It's <laughs> not fan. Mail. You know what? We can't. You know, to hate, be honest, yet mail. people, <laughs> we can't get, get Bob Kane for the Maui Comic Con. But Bill Finger, on the other hand, I think it will we'll also cert- not be. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Dude, Alan Moore will be there. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think you guys are I love all, listing all the people who I are I love that there. Yannon is building all this hype You're for people. You're not making the comments very good. I know, exactly. You're like, this is not going to be there. But what if they do show up? Then everyone would be like, oh, damn, They're now totally i got to go. Not. <laughs> They're totally not. Warren Ellis but, like, is going to be there. Oh, all time. Maybe they'll see it on Facebook and we'll be like, oh, you weren't surprised. I wonder, just because he's bringing that out really quick before we move on, um... How susceptible would a certain George Perez be about coming out to Maui? I think we should just try to meet him in person because I I am considering trying to invite some of the bigger names. And yeah. we also we always, we already threw the invite out to Jim Lee. He responded. He's already got a con that that time, but he is passing the invite along to other people in the industry. Fantastic. Knows. So he's a cool guy. He actually responded. I mean, that's that's, that's good. Cool. I got a question. Um, <laughs> Say I was a big name in the industry. Mm-hmm. How do I get in contact to maybe get a table or something? Just get in contact with us at Maui Comics and Collectibles. If you Google us, you'll find anything you need to know. Dude, I will be there, mm-hmm. apparently. That's good. Because I can just get a table now. I just found out. <laughs> Please, next time on you... The, on the poster, it's just going to say Gannon Gilmore. I'll just make up a book just so I can have a table. Yeah. Uh, next time you speak with Mr. Lee, tell Mr. Jim Lee that we were the people that uh, got him in to watch X-Men. Okay. I don't think that's considered a favor in oh, yeah. circles. We did him that. Is that a plus favor? Yeah. You know, it's going to be like great. Movie. <laughs> that awesome movie that I watched. Like, wow, we, we comped him, what, four tickets? Yeah. Wow. Well, first of all. What a favor we did for him. Favor. And we got, yeah. <laughs> But Gee, listen, Marty, you never cease to discuss that's me. Right. <laughs> and not, not to mention, it was X Men Apocalypse. That is true. Thing. That is true. Um, move, moving on to some more interesting things. Uh, this week Apocalypse. it is a uh, new Comic Book Wednesday. Uh, uh, Alika has a shop here that is. Uh, Boy, island famous already, and people love coming here. It's Maui Comics and Collectibles at 333 Dairy Road yeah. in Kahului. Congratulations. I get a, lot of gl- a little glimmer of Trump from you in that minute. Oh, uh, did you? The, the shop's really tremendous. It's, it's tremendous. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a great shop. People it's enjoy it. People, everybody comes here. That's right. It. That's right. four walls, four beautiful walls. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, it's fantastic. Huge. It's, huge. it's huge. It's huge. Believe it. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, what's up? It's, it's Alika's uh, small way of making Maui great again. That's right. <laughs> oh, Mission there's, accomplished. Here's Todd Bernardi's wit that I love so much. Uh, don't please don't compliment me. <laughs> Every time you compliment me, Alika's got to say something. I know he does. I'm so gonna let that one go. What's uh, what's coming out this week in uh, in the world of comic books Wrenches that we can pick down. up here on Wednesday, sir? So or any day of the week in alphabetical order. Uh oh. Aloha Hawaiian Dick. Wow. What? We may have wait, an announcement can't... to make about that pretty soon. <laughs> Not oh. what you think. Wait, 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 hold wait, on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. wait. I'm pretty sure we just said we're announcing a Hawaiian Dick. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. Is it a big announcement? Fairly big. Wow. Great, great big. Wow. Wider than it is long. Wow. 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 <laughs> So this is quite the girthy announcement. Is it a, is it a powerful okay. announcement? Shall we say that? Right, right, right. Well, you see the you see the can that Swan's drinking out of. Right yes, now? Okay. yes. It's Look, I'm going to move on to the next. Thank you. Do that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Whatever it is. The next it's... letter in the alphabet, please. Batgirl. Oh, good. Number two. Good. Blue Beetle Rebirth. Number one. Good. Chew number fifty-seven. Shout out to John Layman who also popped in the store. The also, man who signed all those books for you. He is a signing machine. <laughs> Much Amazing. like Rob so Liefeld. Cool, Much like, all the artists who come here and writers and stuff, they take a great risk upon themselves by coming in here because this is a comic store. This is where nerds will like tear them to shreds and try to sell their flesh in CGC casing. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, they can get mobbed here. Mm-hmm. And they come here out of the goodness of their heart and check me out. How's the local How comic do they scene find doing? You? Google, man. It's like, the it's, internet. It just seems so weird that mm-hmm. just out of the blue, some big name will just Why are these great the comic book well, artists no, come you, you visit think when they this travel, place? When they travel, everybody. Well, not to mention, it's one of the first things <clears throat> straight off the airport. Yeah, I know. So if you did look they, it up they, before you got here. Well, yeah, I, I suppose that's the thing. But, I mean, true. like, if I were traveling Maybe. to Maui for the first time, I wouldn't be like, well, where's I'm, the comic shop? I'm not asking questions. I'm very blessed that so many big names. Absolutely, no, that's so awesome. Absolutely sir. That's right. I dig it. That's right. Um, we've also got Deadpool 17. Speaking of Rob Liefeld, Deadpool 17. Uh-huh. Uh, Deathstroke number one mm. uh, for DC. Uh, Disney's Darkwing Duck, James Silvani. Who's gonna He's going to be at the, the con! That, I, can't I, can't announce, that. I can't announce James Silvani for sure. He committed already. <laughs> James Silvani will be there. I'm not going to stop you. Thanks, yeah. Dan. You Thanks, can say Dan. that. That's like the only one that's actually real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that part. <laughs> Gannon Gilmer's not going to be there. Gannon's not going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Gannon, you're just kind of He's uninviting yourself. Yeah. Well, much. until I see that check, I don't know if I'm going to be Wow. He's not coming. Well, he's not coming. Harley's Little Black Book, number four. Ooh. Um, Hellblazer, number one. Hell, that's a rebirth in, title. As in, oh, that's a rebirth title. Okay. Gotcha. It's a rebirth title. Okay. Uh, Outcast by Kirkman and Azaceta, number 20. That's got the Cinemax show going on, and it's actually pretty good from what I hear. I, I've only watched the pilot because we saw it at Amazing Con. I love Azaceta. I, I think Swan watched And, he, it and Azaceta really, yeah. was on our show as an interview. Yes, he was, and he was fantastic, and I really enjoyed and talking I, to you him. You know what? When he walked away, I didn't know who he was because I don't know artists on site. You know what I mean? And I wasn't, you know, I walked in at the tail end of the podcast, so I didn't hear any introduction or anything. And then he walked away, and you're like, oh, that was Paul Azaceta. I was like, oh, I, like, I yeah, missed right, my absolutely. opportunity to say hello Crazy, and tell right? Him, tell Crazy. I feel like such a bonehead. <laughs> So Outcast is still going strong. What else we got? Um, tank Girl, Two Girls, One Tank, <laughs> Issue Four of Four. Good you guys Lord, are, you guys are children every time. Every Todd, time. You're, but you're the first one to say something. Maybe you weren't thinking that. Maybe you weren't I, thinking you know, that disgusting internet video. No, it's referencing. like I like the last time. Last, I was thinking last month donut. when it came out, you made the same announcement. I missed it. I was like, "Why is that Tank Girl? Why is that so funny?" And I missed the subtitle. And then I was like, "Oh, that is that's I get it now. And now, I, <laughs> now I know why you guys giggle." Well, this right, is the finale, funny. so maybe they'll do what everyone thinks they're, they're going to do. We're right? <laughs> <laughs> going to get in the tank. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what you're talking. All right. Yeah, well, course, uh, yeah. what, what well, else is totally on that list, sir? TMNT ongoing. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, for those ah, of you who don't know tempt. what that means, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, tempt. issue sixty-one of the ongoing series is, uh, on IDW. Is, is Laird writing the, any of that? No, man. Oh, is Kevin sorry. Eastman? Oh, uh, well, I think it, man, get it right. is, is is Walt's he name keeps... also Kevin? Is it Kevin Waltz who is also writing on it with him? Oh, I don't know. I love how GQ is Amazing art. Big. So. I do. I'm so horrible. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, you uh, should. Usagi Yojimbo. Usagi! I have not read that That's in forever. Funny, G. Yeah, I know. I haven't yeah, read that in a long time. Is it, I didn't even know it was still... Oh, it's right they were still writing? Yeah, Stan Sakai yeah, going strong. That's man. crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's great awesome. Book. Yeah, I've been re- listening to a lot of interviews with him lately. Interesting guy. I wonder if we can get we an interview with him. We should interview him, too. Yeah, I know. So I was just about to say, to. we should interview him. I would love Heck to. Heck yeah! 
Um, he he comes to Oahu a lot. He's um, pretty good friends with uh, John Murakami. So oh, oh wow, John, nice. Like, nice. John Murakami is also an amazing local. We comic should interview writer. John Murakami. He, he um <clears throat> can't you? make it to um, Maui Con. I already asked him. Oh. Uh, oh. He's got a prior commitment to uh, another convention. That's gonna. We should interview time. all your non Holly comic book connections. You guys already Wait, have. what about the no, Howley? That's say pretty Howley? racist. Oh, sorry. Was that? that? super racist. Was it? Can we interview yeah. the Hollywood ones, too? I'm actually kind of like the only Why Howley are we ex- that's really... The I wanted, to, make, I wanted to make it Hawaii exclusive. I wanted the Howley part to be exclusively Todd. That's, that's oh. all. I'm pretty much, <laughs> I'm pretty much the only You were just guessing. Howley. So you're saying we need the token Howley. Correct. That's, that's what Todd yeah. is. That's yeah. exactly what he is. And I'll be the first one to die. You know that's not true in a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. always the other majorities. That's, that's it's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. By the way, is, is that it? Is that all the comics? Um, and Wonder Woman number five. Wonder Woman number five. Nice. All right. Are you going to get uh, Spawn Kills Everything? It wasn't in the last order. It was supposed to be in last week. I think we is got allocated one, is, on for that. Isn't that the but one you said? Hopefully it'll come in in the next week or so. Isn't that the yes. one that you said that Spawn Kills Everything is the comic you were saying off the air that it's the one where he goes into a Comic Con and kills everybody? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it goes to like San Diego. It's a little baby spawn. Like yeah, it's chibi, spawn. like Scotty. Kills Young. Crazy, that's insane. He kills Donald Trump. Is it true that my? Is it? True I heard that, about that. Is yeah. it true that Michael J. White is actually jockeying for this new spawn that's coming out? No. Oh, okay. I didn't know. He's if it was jockeying true. for for uh, uh, Manta, Black Manta. Oh, Black Manta. he's not yeah, jockeying for yeah, Black Manta. Okay. That. Interesting. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, who's the guy that's gonna? I don't remember who's. I don't know where that movie's at. Like that that movie's been in development for a long time. Spawn, long time, so. yeah. I, it's not even going to be a sequel anymore. They're like just going to do like a straight up. standalone. Straight up thing. <laughs> That's All good. They should. Gonna play Al Simmons and, and Shut and up! That'd be fantastic. So down for that white. I would be down uh, for that too. Well, they think they, um, Jamie Fox said that he wanted to play it. Uh, I think he would be good. I think he would be good. You think so? He was yeah. awesome in Django. Yes, he was. He was good in Django. He was good in that Tom Cruise movie. Uh, Collateral. Good yeah. movie. Yeah, good movie. <laughs> it's good that, you know, Tom Cruise. What was that? Uh, uh, Law Abiding Citizen? That's a great yeah, movie. That was good movie. That's a great movie with the Gerard Butler. Yeah. Fantastic flick. Anyway, He's listen. Got a great ass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which and, one? Uh, they both do. They yeah. both do. You don't do. see Jamie Foxx's yeah. button. I, I agree. Well, yeah, yeah, but you should. You should. You totally office. should. <laughs> so, uh, gents, um, I do want to say that even though we didn't get to our celebration last week, I do want to say, uh, if I didn't mention it last week yet again, uh, thank you all for being such an amazing support uh, to the Nerd Watch and You're to Molly Comics, Alika, uh, Gannon, Format, uh, Todd Bernardi, and uh, of course uh, Sa- the Sage and Professor Barry, without a doubt, Big C. Well, let's get back to Barry for Swan. a second. Um, you always forget Swan. I know. Nice well, Swan is my henchman. He is the guy who's the He's cameraman. My henchman. He is the guy who is. Uh, who does a lot of things yeah, for the show behind the scenes, and he does a great job doing it. Um, so uh, big shout out to Swan for that. But uh, I do want to say that you guys are amazing. Um, we know hundred episodes. You guys have been fantastic. And like I said, even the show, even Still though the show is, yeah, even though the show is changing up a bit as of next week, cool. we're doing something a little different. Cast is changing up. Cast changes. Um, the Nerd Watch spirit is still going to be there. Um, and it's just and Carrie will and, be on the cast. And, next week. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to defend the you. cast. You no. can, make, you can <laughs> right. handle that. Can so I, I want to go around the table. Uh, by the way, Facebook Live. Anybody have any questions? Please feel free to ask them. Uh, but I want to go around the table really quick uh, and reminisce a bit. What? <laughs> Nobody's watching. Nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hit those likes. Hit those zero likes. Watchers. <laughs> zero watchers. Um, I want to go around the table really quick while we have some time left uh, and start with Todd. Um, any moments that stick out? In your mind, uh, any favorite moments from uh, uh, the past shows that you've been on? Anything uh, that uh, you enjoy? My, my, like, I the, the first thing that comes to mind is <laughs> is when everybody uh, decided to replace uh, coming with arriving. <laughs> like that's <laughs> that's been like my favorite joke, it's, running joke it's throughout been the a whole bit thing for like seventy episodes. It has strong. been that's for strong. Where like I think some I think Gannon you notice was I saying, never correct anybody. <laughs> Gannon was saying coming, and then I was like, uh, and then he was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, like arriving. And I was like, that's just British for coming. That's, <laughs> we even had the female version. We worked that all out yeah. right in the middle of the Debuting. Yeah. yeah. Debuting. De- de- debuting. Yeah. So that Women was, don't arrive, they debut. They debut. So. 
Uh, that's that's been kind of my much, my yeah. favorite. That's cool. That's he cool. drops it at parties. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> People come. It up. lands every time. People come up to me at the cons on Oahu, and they're like, "Oh, you've arrived." <laughs> that's and awesome. And I do a little curtsy and like this, and like I'm debuting. <laughs> that's Just, fantastic. I did all three. I did all three. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, so so <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Gannon, what about you? Any uh, any fond memories from the show or anything? No, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I like that one episode where we talked about that one movie that one time. <laughs> You're such a jerk, man. <laughs> I like, I like I'm, a, the, I'm a fan of that one, too. <laughs> I liked my favorite moment from Gannon's uh, tenure on the show yeah, is yeah. the uh, video from you swimming in the stream. <laughs> yes. That wasn't on the show. <laughs> We talked about it on the show. Th- that we, wasn't but, and on I, did, the I was show, like, I don't get it. I think somebody drew a parallel oh, between you and Yogi Bear. And that's, yeah. and that's gonna we, come up as a Facebook memory say. in a couple of months, so it's gonna get recirculated again. Uh, I yeah. tell you what, right. music, it, 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 it is, it is a fu- it is a valid. And if you're watching right now, I hate you. <laughs> it's um, a valid memory. Link to it on YouTube. It's, I will. <laughs> oh no, I guarantee you, when it comes up as a Facebook memory in November, she's gonna post it again. It's a valid memory we'll because I named the show. After Gannon's little video. Oh. Well, you know what? Straight Up was one of my favorite episodes where me and Barry got into the debate over Superman 2. And I was right. That is a great <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> Uh, Barry's not here to defend himself, but uh, that no, was no, a good no, show. No, no, that, I was no, right. No, I was there. I was <laughs> right. <laughs> that is a great show, by Barry, the way. Barry got on that. That, that he likes seeing that dark Batman and Batman. And, I mean, excuse me, dark Superman and Superman Part Two. That's very good. good he point. never, he never realized he was grinning when he. Threw yes, he did. Up. He was. It was pretty fantastic. It was pretty fantastic. Um, I, I, I didn't go into the argument with the intention of being right. I just it happened. It was like a bonus. <laughs> it was a bonus. It a wasn't bonus. like I was like, fighting oh. to be right. I was just relaying the facts as they're laid out in that film. Yeah. Versus no. how the facts are laid out in Man of Steel. That is a very good point, and, sir. You know, I, I tend to think the nostalgia co- like colors people's perceptions right. of a movie. Can you imagine if Fair that? Can you imagine if that movie was ever released the way it was meant to be? Where if it was, that movie came out, to, uh, you know, not to restart that argument all over again, <laughs> but. You know, but just since we're already talking about, if that movie came out today, people would be talking about that movie the same way I am. I, I, I listen. I can't. We I didn't can't, think about it back yeah. in nineteen what eighty one, eighty yeah, something like eighty two, something yeah, like that. Maybe 82. But when that movie came out, then murder really wasn't as shocking it. back then. But it was you know, the eighties. Watch yeah. Superman. You know, everybody watch Superman two again. Watch Aliens how, watch how he takes care of Zod. You're, you're gonna be surprised by what you see. Uh, no, I, I could not. I could not agree with you more. You're absolutely right. So uh, it right. does open up a different aspect of the character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, as he's grinning as he throws General Zod down the castle. No, it's great because all of a sudden this 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 very big bold Superman theme comes up and burr, 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 this burr, is what burr, heroes do. I'm well, going to murder you. <laughs> 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 okay, but here's the that's, the, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> it's the music. Okay, and again, we're still talking about it. It's the music that covers that moment. Yes, it does because right. the music makes it very heroic. It does. Like, yes. Triumphant. It does. <laughs> but if you had different music over that moment, you'd be like, oh my god, he's killing an over human being right now. You yeah. should swap the music from that scene and Man of Steel, the Zodiac breaking scene. Uh, if you're uh, anybody watching see if right now, play differently. if you guys have YouTube, if you guys have skills with editing, let's let's see that. Let's, let's, uh, let's see the Man of Steel. Now Man of Steel is suddenly Swan. a lot more acceptable. Yeah. Right? <laughs> what the, and Superman 2 is like, why did he do why that? Why did he do yeah. that? So yeah. Yeah. Wow, this guy's been killing for all this time. Uh, I think that Swan's challenge for next week is to to slash that in for the show. Oh yeah, see if you yeah. can slash like, it in for you, the show. Can you put in? Can you put, put in the music right over? Oh, okay. Guy's <laughs> <laughs> got enough trouble dealing with that. <laughs> okay. I just got they, enough they trouble share, like, one with computer us. to edit everything. <laughs> Give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just get so the okay. Man of Steel soundtrack. Watch Superman two on the screen. Just play the soundtrack right over top of it. That'd it's be crazy. Eating. Yeah, we'll just do it for ourselves. <laughs> Weird. I wonder if it sinks. Yeah. No, nah, I probably wouldn't. So format, sir. Yeah. Moving down the line, format. Do you have a favorite uh, part of the show, or did you have favorite uh, fond memories? Every episode that I was on. <laughs> I really dug those episodes. Thank you. Those are my favorite episodes. Those are your favorite episodes? No, um, certain, not, not necessarily uh, favorite episodes, mm-hmm. although uh, the one last week with Lindsay and, and her crew, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty great. Um, but, like, certain moments stand out. Like, uh, when... <laughs> When uh, Todd spoiled, um, oh yeah, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad. Or forget- <laughs> <laughs> that, was that, that was a huge moment. That was great. 
In Todd's defense, Breaking Bad's been done for a while. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, but it was your reaction that was fantastic. <laughs> You're I dropped mad, a motherfucker. Like, there was no, there was no buffer. <laughs> he said fudger, I think, didn't you? I said fudger. Okay, thank I said you. Mother fu- well, I didn't actually say mother fudger on that <laughs> okay, episode. Gotcha, right, right. Gotcha. Okay, good. But that, said yeah. Spoilers, mother fudger. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers, mother fudger. Just no, out of nowhere. I'm just watching Gannon's face from where I was sitting was, was priceless. Absolutely it was, it was priceless. So good. It was so good. It was so well, good. Well, essential time. The bittersweet yeah. thing about it is that I literally just got through explaining that I hadn't finished the yeah. series or right. that particular series. And Todd's yet. like, well, you know she dies, right? <laughs> like, it wasn't a matter of me saying, oh, I've been catching up on the show. I literally said exactly where I was at. <laughs> I forgot. I just. I thought that when you said that, that was you were already past where. I, no, <laughs> like I, I seriously, I seriously wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have said that if I was like, oh, he said he's in the second season, so that she's dead by then. She's right? dead by then, like right? She <laughs> yeah, dies at the right. beginning totally of the first. Oh, dang! You messed up. <laughs> by the way, everybody should watch Breaking Bad if you have not. It's fantastic. Yeah. And I and I can. She dies at because that I was avoiding watching it because everybody talked about it and liked it, yeah. and then I watched. I binged the whole thing. Mm-hmm. It's, Totally, the hype is worth. I, 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 I just watch I, it. I dug it. Yeah, yeah. So any of you three people who are holding I didn't really out. dig like the first few episodes, but yeah, yeah the first episode on you is definitely then you're a hard sell. Yeah, you're like, like most shows. The first season is the one that you kind of have to trudge through until yep. you get to like the real meat. Agreed. Of the story. Yeah, absolutely. Like, most shows are like that. Most yeah, shows are like because they don't like, know. Like, Fear the Walking Dead is like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, the first season is your first act, essentially. Right. Stage and all that. Setting the stage, absolutely right. Well, listen, Alika, sir, uh, yes. do you have any fond memories? I uh, say the best part about doing the podcast since we've been doing it yeah, is yeah. the special interviews we get to do. Like you said, with Lindsay and her right. crew, and Ryan and Chris and um, and uh, Irving. Irving. The, mar- the marathon podcast we did at the Amazing Hawaii Comic Con. Where were you just interviewed? Like. <laughs> A hundred. It was just a revolving door. Awesome. It was. But Random we, I mean, celebrities. Not only that, but we got to uh, not just the interview itself and being a part of that, which is great, but just actually this the Chris Claremont interview comes to mind mm-hmm. because he was genuinely just having a good time. He talking was. Story with us, we were. His wife had to pull him away. He had wife, to pull him away. That's one of my favorite interviews. Because the wife is like, he was, he's got a line. Clearly, he was clearly just having a good time. That's on record to too. Be yes. Here, yeah. Uh, oh, she was furious though. I listened. To he the was like, he needs to go back to his booth. He has a line. He was great because he was talking about a project that he was working on that he was very passionate right. about. Yeah, and I love that. I love listening to Merida. that. Yeah, Merida. Yeah, amazing Marana, stuff. Sorry. Mar- yeah, uh, Chris M A R A D A. Chris Chris Claremont Marana. was such a cool interview. I could have sat there and listened for another forty five minutes. To I mean, an hour. he's a legend for a reason. He's just yeah. full of full of stories and wisdom. I, and- I mean, his his and. Those that's exactly right. His mind, his knowledge, he's so full of stories that he just wants to get out of his brain and put on paper. And, and I was just so grateful and very appreciative that you were the interviewer and you're so good with talking to people eh. um, and just meeting for the first time because when I approached him in the bar, God forbid I'd be the person interviewing because I was like, didn't know what to say. Like, I was like, hi, Chris, you're Chris Claremont. You're so cool. <laughs> I love, you used to write X-Men. I love the X-Men. <laughs> hey, man, did you like, know you wrote X-Men? <laughs> He's like, you people have no face to me anymore. Yeah. There are millions of you. There are millions of you. It's so funny. You're, you're like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Farley. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, I know. So when you see him at yeah, the bar, did the you know you wrote X-Men? <laughs> that was cool. Man. So uh, yeah. Remember that time you uh, wrote the X-Men? So that was Chris, cool. uh, that was so cool. you, you, Chris, you, Chris, uh, you want to get out of here? <laughs> Can you just yeah. come over to my house and just talk to me about all the times you wrote? X-Men? I'm pretty sure I hit on one of the cosplayers. That oh, day did you? Too. Did I, you? I, I kind of regret doing that. Oh no, which yeah, one? I, uh, I'm not gonna say it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't cos- watch the show. It wasn't Lindsay. But one of the other cosplayers, I'm pretty sure I hit on her right to her face. Oh, her. She played it off, and I'm kind of happy she did, because when I thought about it later, I'm like, wow. What Creepster a kind of deal? No, not really. Just, it was a very jerk move. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah. You feel weird. Like, you you play the role. You're she like showed up to talk about projects, and there I am. Like, I was like literally hitting on her, but wow. I said something just jokey wise and came across totally <laughs> very misogynistic yeah. no not even that bad just, no that's how we're gonna play it. <laughs> that's good hey we, uh she, there's probably the least awkward confrontation she had <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. Like, probably that's true i've seen she those... was dressed up as a bombshell zatanna let's put it that okay. way oh so you, oh one of the bombshell oh. if you got some sleuthing involved there were like four different girls as bombshell you're like a you're like a magician but with no pants <laughs> 
<laughs> was it like that? No. That's not really okay. a pickup line, though, no. Todd, to be fair. <laughs> well, you could just say that and be creepy. It, it is right. in my mind. Right, right, right. I think in my you... mind, that's a compliment. I want like, to I make this disappear. That's right. <laughs> no want to see me magically get in your pants? That's yeah. something else completely different. Yeah. That works. Um, but uh, there's some. Uh, there's a lot of fun memories. Okay, how am I going to get in your pants if you're not wearing any? <laughs> <laughs> well, Watching you, Travis. <laughs> I will I'm say. I'm talking to you. I, I will say never that uh, yeah. uh, my fondest memories was. Uh, there, I have a few because I've done over a hundred. There, there, although there's technically a hundred episodes, we've uh-huh. done more than a hundred episodes. Yeah. Um, but uh, my favorite was were doing the episodes the, before us. Right? We're doing the con. The con was amazing. Um, I was I, I never had so much fun con. and never was so exhausted Scott after Liddell, talking to people. Paul as a setup. Paul as a setup. I was talking to uh, Robert Kirkman. Rob, uh, no, apologize for get, not showing we, up. Yes, no, he apologized for not showing up. Uh, meeting Jim Lee, uh, getting to meet people um, uh, of all different stripes. All, we got interviews from almost all of the Hawaiian Comic Book Alliance. Right, we got to meet. D, I, I never would have met DJ. Trip. Or Canilla Trip, or Very any of those guys. Marvel and DC. Ba- uh, Brian, and Brian Revel, and uh, 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 Mike Sato. Mike Sato from Enjoy yeah, Comics. Yeah. On Big I Island. never would have met those guys, and it was so much fun. Awesome local guys. I was so tired after that. That those two days. And Mike but, Sato's actually from Maui too. So. Yeah, yeah. I just never. I. It was just so much fun and so enjoyable to talk to everybody and to to listen to their. Com- uh, listen to their stories. I thought that was great. Yeah. Uh, I really like that, and uh, hopefully we will do that soon, which we will do be it because all again Maui, on, in, November, in November at Maui we'll Comic Con. Them over there. Fantastic! So I'm very excited about that. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot. Uh, first of all, any show involving Professor Barry are my favorites. Of course they are. Um, I have to. The only reason why I say that is, be- <laughs> uh, I love Professor Barry. Professor Barry, uh, our, me and him are kindred spirits, uh, and he and I, um, although we disagree more than we agree, we have one. We have we love talking to each other about um, about movies, and then uh, the the makeout sessions are bonus. So um, no. not not for Barry. <laughs> When he, he says, says, "You said we were just going to talk." <laughs> is he watching? When, I don't know. His wife is watching. His wife is watching. Oh, no. <laughs> no, the cat's Wait. out of the bag. Sorry, <laughs> Julia. Sorry. Sorry. G, G, no means no. I know. <laughs> when he says no, he's, he means it. But but I I love Barry. If he's no, if he doesn't and look interested. He, when he the moment I knew that he was coming <laughs> back, yeah. the moment I knew he was coming back here is the reason why I wanted to do the show because I knew that he would be able to. Uh, be on the show with me, and you guys were. You guys, <laughs> uh, but I knew that he, having him here would give me motivation to do it. And on top of that, he also is responsible for making me a, an actual certified movie critic, which I appreciate very much. And on top of that, what's also a bonus is is that he encouraged me to look outside of just using him because he's got a family and things like that. And I, without that, I never would have met you guys. And that is a big bonus for me too. And so I thought I always, I always, you know, Barry was the catalyst for a lot of this, and I really appreciated that. So anything with Barry is always good for me, uh, very enjoyable for me. Um, outside of Professor Barry, um, I will say one of my favorites, one of my favorite memories was because there's so many. The day I joined. really, I mean, and <laughs> really, is. really, there's no, there's I nothing, nothing outside of Barry for you. But no, no, there is, and this is the thing. A distant outside, second. Let's say distant outside second. Outside of Barry being the motivation for me to do the show and to kind of and have him here when I knew he was coming back home to do it, to be at home, I was like, I got to do this. But outside of that, one of my favorite episodes is the one that I – we've lost it a couple times. But once again, tickling my funny bone is Mr. Bernardi over here. Oh, man. And um, this is, this I remember – got to retire. I, I remember when my, one of my favorite episodes at the, very, at the tail end of the show, uh, Alika <laughs> was talking about something. And for some reason, I don't know how we got off of the subject, but everything was anal jesic or anal log <laughs> or <laughs> I, I could not contain myself. It was so it was the Roll Aids episode. It was, it was the Roll Aids episode. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right>. Children. <laughs> it was the Ro- 
Oh I'm sorry. God. We're we're six year olds. We can't we can't help ourselves. I'll never. I will it was never. it was the Rollades suppository. The Rollades suppository. What do I spell? Read. Henry R D. That's right. That's right. And then and then we're we're off the subject completely. And then oh, Alik is talking it. about something oh. else. And then of course Todd just brings oh, it right yeah. back. <laughs> Good old time. <laughs> Way to bring us back to Way center. Way to bring us back to center, You're sir. a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite episodes. I've gone back and listened to that episode what? a thousand times because it's so freaking hilarious that I can't help myself. I'm learning things about you, <laughs> Because the funny thing is, is that Todd loses it. And when Todd loses it, I lost it. And then, of course, Alika is over there chastising everybody you guys are hilarious yeah. <laughs> so funny you guys are such children it's like, it's like yeah that's right it's oh, man. it was very good so uh it's pronounced was... anal logue that's right it's pronounced <laughs> anal logue like, it's just said it it's like out of nowhere <laughs> analog <laughs> And, I never and then forget. we brought up like Donald Logue. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It yeah, just kept even... going and going. It should have stopped. That's but right. It just kept going. That's right. That that right. we're terrible and we're children. Yeah, it's. That's why that, I, I, I always I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> it was <laughs> so funny. Why it was? It was really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it somehow. Yeah, in the it, future it in was. The comic. It was really really good. Um, but uh, <laughs> next time you guys see Todd at, at the Comic Con, yeah. Just, I anal Jesus, anal Jesus, <laughs> anal Jesus. That's it's right. Like with material like this, how do you expect us to ever get big beverage that's, endorsements that's, from companies that's, like Orangina? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh my gosh! But there's just so much. There's so much funny and excellent material. Uh, that uh, uh, that I really enjoyed, and uh, I just I would there would be listen not not to not to toot but Todd's horn, but I would literally. Why, why I'm already tickling your uh, funny. It's true, book. but this is uh, this is getting be, more out of control. Than somebody be, draw that. There would be weeks. I, you guys don't know this. He's going to come in with the caricature. You guys don't know this. There would be weeks that Todd would say something that would really get me, and that I would. Literally call him and tell him, Todd, that was really funny, Todd. Todd, you're a human fool. <laughs> <laughs> you must stop this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I almost remember all of them. Yeah, too. it's uh, so listening to Todd talk about that stuff is some of my fondest uh, fondest memories. And then, of course, uh, something that's memorable but not in a good way is oh, uh, great. well, I shouldn't say not in a good way. Um, but uh, definitely is uh, before the comic shop. No, well, no episodes before the comic shop were crazy. We would do them at Tasty Crust. We we did them at Collector I, Jay's I house to before. The before you guys, yeah, came yeah, yeah, shows. yeah. Those were decent shows. Um, Collector Jay and Digital. How are the Digital how are the, how are the not for those guys? Uh, dead. Um, <laughs> that's not true. I talk like the Jay and Dave. We buried them in the desert. See? No, no, no. Collector Jay is fine. He's got he's got a family to take care of. Yeah. Uh, Digit's also she's doing doing, okay. she's doing right. Firm, <clears> doing he's got his design he's got his design firm. And also then, uh, helping out with the Maui Comic Con. Yeah, fantastic. I think, I think Digit's doing real estate. Or something. Digit's yeah. doing real estate. She's doing she's amazing. Like an actual adult. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good thing she's not hanging she's like, out with sorry, us guys, idiots. Sorry, time to talk about mm-hmm. anal Jesus. No, what am I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I she think, never brought that up. I will tell you one of my one of my favorite. Um, Memories it has nothing. It has to do with the podcast, but off off topic. It has to do with Gannon. Was is that I when I met Gannon, I, even before I met Gannon, he was starstruck. I I kind of was uh, because I knew how 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 like, intelligent and smart he was Gannon. about movies and comics. Oh shit! And, and I had to and I had to have him on the show. And <laughs> was he like standing on a street corner with a megaphone? <laughs> like, how did you discover this about? Well, him? he was—he had a clutch, and he was wearing—he kind of, like wearing a no. beret in a coffee shop. No, with no, a megaphone? no, no, no. He, he was spousing his opinions on he the was, latest movies. He was—he had a clutch, and he was wearing pumps. And a fr- <laughs> and, I was uh, going to say this sounds like the T career. Scene. No, <laughs> no. Uh, what's like funny is, is that's yeah. right. I was sitting uh, at the mall uh, at the at the Kahamanu Center. And uh, I heard him spousing his 
Loudmouth. <laughs> no. Probably, probably hey, saw me throwing out some. We started. Kind of he, drugs. yeah, he and I. I, oh, I don't know what we were. Oh, that's right. You're there. Back. I think we were start, striking up a conversation about Jurassic World. I think. Mm. And or something or something, and I remember that, and I was like, "Man, I gotta have Gannon on the show because he's so good and he's fun to talk to." And yeah, so good looking, and and incredibly good something looking. About a man in I was afraid to have him on the show because Obviously, I didn't want him to outdo people. me. I mean, as far as my, you know, as far as my masculine. But then good he looks. brought me on and I outdid him anyway. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just been. You can't win them all. It's been a ride. And by the way, um, one of the yeah, other it things sure has been a ride. One of the other things that I really like doing with you guys, even though you guys weren't all there for every single one of them, but every time you guys would come and do the movie premieres, I had a blast. Especially the Force Awakens. Even though I hate that movie. That was some of the. That You're was such a bitter old man. I, but I loved that doing the premieres one of the with you guys. Fun ones, that was super fun. That was a big. Premiere. Actually, I take that back. The Civil War one was more fun for me. That one was good too. Because I was throwing stuff at people. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, you guys want a cardboard cutout puzzle of Iron Man? Whip it right at your face. No. Well, listen. I wouldn't put to, it in Still dealing with lawsuits. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Still uh, uh, to avoid any further lawsuits, we may not be. We, See, we nobody shall not sued be, us, but now they're thinking about it. Yeah. And so you guys just seeded that. one. Well, listen. Well, we we won't be chucking anything into an audience anymore, but we will be doing more movie premieres. Not until I get that T-shirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Mod Flanders died. Uh, That's supposed to be a cautionary tale. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what about what about From Big Trouble? Yeah. I, I oh. think she was killed by a T-shirt. I, uh, my fav- I my favorite uh, movie uh, opening was Big Trouble in Little China. I, I, I was just about that to say awesome. that I agree with you. I with think that's my, that's my favorite. Was, so yeah. that was really cool. Yeah. To be there, who is also in the movie, and mm-hmm. everybody's showing up. Just and I, and yeah. instead of G Money and his self important self doing the interview beforehand, mm-hmm. thought it was cool that Swan. Yeah. And. Um, and Aaron and they did, did anybody the, else in the interview mm-hmm. it was just one and Aaron mm-hmm. yeah they did the interview with Andy Kai they did and then Pro- Professor Barry talked about the show yeah Professor uh, Barry did Todd intro. did a tremendous that was uh, an awesome poster I wish poster. I got a copy of it I know I you wish I had a copy, copy. Oh. I didn't get a copy of it either yeah. um, I'm, still, I'm still waiting on my copy of BBS none of us did yeah I, uh, and then he stopped doing <laughs> posters have nothing to and then do he stopped doing no, posters altogether I saved I thought I saved one of the BBS ones too oh yeah well, Unless, um, okay, I'll get, I'll get it for you. Will you get it? Okay, good. Because I, I really want one, too. I wanted one. But, yeah, Todd did tremendous uh, artwork for Big Trouble in Little China. That was one of my favorites because, you know what? I guess you know what was cool about that one? It felt like the Big Trouble in Little China premiere felt like and, – and, I, and uh, it felt like we did it. We did like it. We did that. Yeah, like we did that. Well, also with a lot of help from our sugar daddy, Larry John. Uh-huh. He helped buy a lot of tickets. You would not imagine the things that I'd have to do for Larry in order for him to help us. Oh, no, we man. know. Oh, you we did? saw the tapes. Oh, okay. I know what kind of old man he is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I, it felt like we put something together. I really thought that you guys did a tremendous job, and I thought you know, it was it was something that I can't wait to do in the near future and just be amazing and – you know that's why. And then look, and this is this is the reason why I brought all you guys on, um, just because you guys have different, um, different. You guys have different skill sets, so um, <clears throat> that that our, helped our, me. All of our our strengths outweigh our weaknesses. Uh, a- absolutely, and so that's why I brought you guys on uh, to to no. to cover up my uh, to cover up my weaknesses. My what? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I agree. Okay. Agree. Good. Um, and Foreman so, knows stuff. Yeah, he <laughs> does. <laughs> he does know stuff. So, I don't believe that for a second, Gannon. Yeah. But uh, I really, really want to thank you guys again for a wonderful uh, 100 episodes, 100 plus episodes. You're By the way, you know what I you know what I never thought about? I'm just thinking about it now. You know what I like doing, which we don't do anymore? Oh. <laughs> Number one, I really love doing the commentaries, uh, the movie commentaries we did, which are up yeah. on our Facebook, uh, which are up on our uh, Nerdwatch page, except by the way. Uh, except for Howard the Duck. Um, but I also That's like the most one. important one. That's yeah. the only one I did. That was a great one, one. I started losing my cool in the Leah Thompson underwear scene. Yeah, you did. Um, and I also enjoy doing the I after love you, Leah Thompson. If you're watching, <laughs> I also doing. I also love doing the after the <laughs> after the movie pods we did here uh, after closing. Oh, yeah, when yeah, we yeah. come here late, we that was really fun. And after we come from premieres, we did the uh, like yeah, an hour review. After premieres, everyone just digs out. <laughs> That's how everybody just leaves. But I always we're like those. See you on Twenty years. Yeah, we'll see. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're like, oh, you know what? We're just too tired. Too, too tired. For too stuff. tired for this crap. But uh, yeah, I loved. I loved doing the shows. It was like doing it by 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 uh, 
by dim light, which is really fun for me. And I just thought, you know, those are just fun memories. <laughs> it's so romantic. It's so romantic. Oh, candles. Yeah, just so Same great. Draw yeah. some Luther Vandross. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but Enjoyed listen. Enjoy some Luther Vandross sandwiches. <laughs> We got about uh, six. What do you mean by that? Luther <laughs> <laughs> Vandross? It's Black Forest ham. And no, I'm just kidding. What is it? <laughs> it's like seven different meats, a uh, fried egg in between two Krispy Kreme donuts. I've never heard. Are of you that. serious? Oh, yeah, the Luther Vandross. That wow, sounds that sounds delicious. Ass. Have you had one? <clears throat> no, I wish. No. We got donuts right there. You can make one. Yeah, you could. Put a pizza in the middle. <laughs> Close well, enough. well, gents, listen. We got about six minutes left, so before we get out of here, uh, anybody want to add anything before we uh, before we take off? Eh? No, that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a no. Um, let me do the work then. Well, hold on. What? Can we get any questions? We got six more minutes left. Yeah. No I one asked any questions. Say, Technically, anybody, we're just that good. I, awesome. Has anybody been watching the Get Down on Netflix? Uh, I know DJ has. I watched the I watched the first two episodes. That's I do, where I, am. I'm the I, I don't tell me about it because I want to watch it. It's I'm still so in. Good. I'm in the midst of Stranger and when I saw Things. The credits, I didn't even know, but Boz Lerman is. Yeah, it. yeah, so yeah. Mister Moulin Rouge. Yeah, I watched and the I didn't first watch episode. I haven't watched any of it because I'm in the midst really of Stranger did. Things right now. So Boz Lerman also did that Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah yes, he did that. the one with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Whoa, hey! Whoa, no. that guy was in Critters hey, Four. Yeah, that's true. He? he was. I love Critters. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> um, but listen, wait, no, I think that Critters Three. It was uh, three. I loved all the Critters after two <laughs> because that's when they got real spacey with it. Yeah, they did. Angela Bassett well, was in one. Wasn't the third she? one was in an apartment complex. The fourth yeah. one was in space. Yeah, yeah, but it. the aliens were already coming down with their ships as early as. Two. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, no, from the first one. But they didn't really play the bounty hunter guy. Yeah, yeah. First one. But it wasn't like you know, it wasn't done up as special. Like number two, I felt was really kind of like sci-fi. Sure, sure. Are we going to enter celebration redo on a critters show? There's no yeah, way. that's crazy. Why the hell not? That's, that's the best. Well, the get down was great. And nothing, also, nothing says aloha like critters. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the trailer for Amazon's The Tick. Like yes, the two released footages. From yes, that look amazing. Like I can't tone, wait to watch the use it. Use of violence and humor mm-hmm. is like that's the tick I like from the voice. Of I the saw that. Yeah, what did you think? I saw the whole episode. Like the actor they got for it is amazing. Like his voice, Peter Serafinowicz. He like you look at his face. And he doesn't look like Patrick Warburton, who is a perfect physical build, mm-hmm. and also he had a good voice for it. But this actor's voice is like awesome. Yeah, he's good. He's an English guy. He's oh, got uh, yeah. yeah. He's the voice of Darth Maul in Phantom Menace. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. He's got what? And Wait, I like Ray Park didn't say his own lines. No, no. no, no he's he got didn't. a thick Scottish accent. Every time you see Darth Maul speak in Phantom Menace, is not Ray Park. Interesting. Yeah. Peter Sir It's also not Ray Parker Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how did his son write the Ghostbusters theme? <laughs> so young and the <laughs> Well, listen, gents. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this show with you for the last 100 episodes plus. It was good to know you. It was, It'll uh, be a shame to not have you back next week. <laughs> Are those the chances you're talking about? No more yeah, I, I'm leaving, you know, but... Uh, just uh, just go Oh, ahead. is that a spoiler? That is a spoiler. Yeah, cast uh, cast yeah. next week there is a cast shake-up, but not in, not in the way you think, um, and it's going to be a little different. Uh, we're, 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 pursu- we're pursuing a different... Stan way. Lee will be here. <laughs> no, he yeah. won't. Um, but I do want to say thank you guys so much for uh, all the wonderful things uh, that you guys have uh, provided for the show. I want to thank Alika so much for the comic book store and having You're us do welcome. it here. It's been an amazing time and just having a place to do it. Without this store here, we'd probably be, you know. We'd probably be going in an alley somewhere podcasting we'd be, next to a dumpster. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so next to some dumpster. That'd be, dumpster. Doing, That'd be, be amazing. we podcast in the Jack in the Box bathroom. No, that's I'm, right. No, thank you guys because really it's given me an excuse Ooh. to sit in on a bunch of amazing interviews. Right, with creators and writers from all across the comic industry. It's been fantastic. Such an opportunity. It's been awesome. Absolutely, and there's more to come. Uh, Maui Comic Con right, is on the way. I was just interview over and over again. Just like yeah, it's it, such a fun. It's fantastic, and I just uh, yeah, we got yeah we got more stuff coming up in the in the next hundred episodes. We hope. And uh, we're just going to be talking about games and movies and memories and and uh, just the chemistry of the of the Nerd Watch podcast for sure. So big thank you to you guys. Big thank you to all of the grunt work that uh, the one and only Swan does. Uh, does amazing stuff for our camera work for YouTube and Facebook and um, uh, for the for the Nerd Watch. So camera it's work. amazing. He's yeah. not even next to the camera. Hey right hey, now. listen. <laughs> it's a set it and forget it. Hey hey, let he brings listen. Brings the shot and then walks away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. He might as well like yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not Federico hey, Fini hey, over hey, there. Hey, hey, guys, 
Look, you know, it's been a hundred episodes. Let the guy phone one in. <laughs> Come on. Well, listen. That's a hundred episodes of phoning it in. That's though. right. Do us all a favor: uh, like, share, and subscribe to the podcast and to the YouTube channel at Nerd Watch Nation. Uh, I'm going to do something that that uh, that the one and only Swan wanted me to do. If you want to know more about the Nerd Watch, you can do it here. Is this right? Or if you want to learn more about my watch, you can do it here. I'm gonna, he's going to try something. Yeah. Somewhere. He's got me doing yeah. it. You can follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash The Nerd Watch. You can follow us on Instagram at The <laughs> underscore Nerd Watch. You can follow us at uh, Twitter at Nerd Watch Nation. And, of course, on YouTube, check us out. Just uh, search Nerd Watch right Nation. So um, next week. Different look for the Nerd Watch. It's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. Uh, we're going to have tablecloths. That's, that's no, right. No, no, no. Uh, by the way, streamers <laughs> were for the celebration. So I want to thank Globe Trotters. I want to thank Globe Trotters will be here. I want. <laughs> I watch. That. I want to thank Todd Bernardi and, and uh, all I of his talents. I want to. I want to thank Gannon for his amazing work as our horror aficionado. <laughs> I want to thank Format as uh, our amazing gaming guru. <laughs> I want to thank Alika for providing the Maui comics, uh, comics and collectibles here at three three. Three Dairy Road oh, in Kahului. Uh, amazing stuff. And more details on the Maui Comic Con coming up uh, in uh, every week here on the show, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, but stay tuned. 102 and on is coming up. More memories, more fond memories. Ian McKellen will be here. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Who's going to be here? Ian McKellen will That's be here. Wow. True. That is amazing. So he won't true. officiate a wedding, but he'll be here for the Nerd Watch. Wow. Mm. What he's a guy. Gonna, we, found our, we found it in our budget to pay him. Did we? Yeah, we did. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. We're paying him in Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, we're paying him in Krispy Kreme donuts and Costco pizza. Wow. Ian McKellen yeah. will show up. He he's will. Gonna be, he's going to be giving Patrick Stewart a piggyback ride. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Stewart, Stewart will be here. Well, but uh, he's going to leave immediately because he's going to be like, what the uh, hell is this? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> big shout, big shout out to those that aren't here, of course. Uh, <laughs> Professor Barry, not here. <laughs> big shout out to Professor Barry, big shout out to Big C, and big shout out to, uh, Hennessy, the Sage, and of course, big shout out to, uh, uh, Silent Sean, who's been filming Facebook Live this whole yeah. time. You Silent are the man, Sean. Silent Sean. Seriously, I can see up those dickies, man. <laughs> Which, uh, he's, uh, I can see up your short suit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> So until next week, boys. I can't boys, believe you can tuck it back like that. <laughs> Those are some wiry eggs, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Before we get into any more trouble, ladies and gentlemen, peace oh, out. Oh. Much love. I didn't realize it'd be so and most assuredly, always stay nerdy. Not dirty, nerdy. Nerdy. And until next time, we say to you, Aloha. Aloha.